shot. Let's go! Red zone, red zone! You got my back, I got your back. Communicate! Make some noise! Let's go, Mayday! Enjoy the moment, baby. Let's go. Enjoy the moment. Hey, hey, and welcome to another glorious season of high school football. I'm Travis Green. And I'm Andrew Quinn. That just gave me the chills oh, right there. We're ready? back. Welcome to the ready? first Creme 2 Football Friday show of the season. Schools from all across the Inland Northwest taking to the gridiron tonight under those Friday night lights. It's back. It's back. <laughs> and we're here to bring you all the highlights, not just tonight, but all season. Let's yep. get things started off with our game of the week. How's that sound? Let's do it. Yeah, Central Valley taking on Ridgeline. This could be a new rivalry here, could Andrew. Could be. What battle, do we the battle for the valley. Battle, <laughs> battle for the valley. That's there you what, go. That's what we're going to call it. Uh, give us credit when that takes over. All right, Andrew, let's, this new look Ridgeline team, they look poised to compete this season, but Central Valley is always a top team out here. And the Bears said, hey, the valley belongs to the Bears early. A long drive capped off by a Bo Butner touchdown run here. Bears would later get a safety to go up two, nine zip, excuse me, but... This is what you call a turning point. After the safety on the kickoff, Falcons able to punch out the ball and hop on it quickly. They're gonna find themselves in the red zone where the Falcons would capitalize. Landon Gardner rolling out and finding Easton Amend who takes care of the rest. And look at this, loses half his shirt in the <laughs> process. Goodness gracious. From that point on, Ridgeline would take command of this game. How about it, Falcons? They wind up winning 21 to 14. Let's head up north for a, another rivalry here. Sam Point hosting Coeur d'Alene. This was a defensive battle, but the Vikings will get a few big plays like this run here from senior Carson Spielman, the stiff arm, and then it's a foot race, and they're not going to catch him. A 65-yard <laughs> touchdown to put CDA up. 13 zip in the first. Sam Point couldn't get much going against the CBA defense, but in the fourth, look at that catch right there. Oh Braden gosh. Buck out to Jesse Turner, but then uh, the snap goes over the quarterback's head. The Vikings defense pitches a shutout in this one. CBA wins 19-0. Post falls hit the road to Boise, uh, facing Timberline Wolves. Trojans built a lead early here, adding on to that lead. Isaac McCowan finding big number 89. Asher Bowie, I don't believe related, related to David, <laughs> untouched for the TD. And you can't talk about this game without talking about Post Falls defense. Jack Brandt under pressure here. And Cooper Craig is there who says, uh, guys, who says defensive guys can't catch? That's right. I don't, I don't know what and I'm boy, going Cooper out. Craig, <laughs> that dude can hit too. Post Falls dominant down south. The Trojans win 48-22. Lake City hosting North Central out in Idaho. This one was all Timberwolves. Lake City up 27-0. NC trying to make it a game, but Travell Jones is picked off by Garrett Leonard. He does his best Marlon McCree impression and fumbles, but the Wolves do fall <laughs> on it. Then late in the fourth quarter, Connor Carmignani hits oh. Pater with a rushing touchdown. Lake City wins this one 34 0. I have a new favorite name there. A little history made on this week of one of Washington football. Over at Hartfield, Lewis and Clark hosting Ferris for the first GSL football game at Hartfield in 54 years. LC coming out strong. Jack Paragon with the touchdown, puts them up 14-0. Later in the second quarter, play of the week candidate here, Caleb Kostica, look at that spin move. Sets up LC nicely, and of course, you gotta let the senior finish off the drive. Lewis and Clark dominates in the opener, 40-6. Gonzaga Prep visiting the Blackhawks out in Cheney tonight. After a bullpup fumble early, Cheney strikes first. Sam Coffin punches it in on the QB sneak. That gives the Blackhawks a 6-0 lead. Bullpups looking for a spark and they get one. Bodie Stafford to Isaiah Dawkins who holds it in with one hand. Oh my goodness. That would set up Nate Moynette from two yards out to give Prep a 7-6 lead. Late in the first half now, Stafford on the pitch here to Gavin Damon. He runs it in for a touchdown. Prep goes on to win this one, 34-6. Let's head out to Uhi. The Titans hosting Mount Spokane. Uhi would trail 33-14 into the second half. However, Titans get back in it here. K quarterback Caleb Walcott gets Uhi within two scores. Mount Spokane would put its foot down, though, answering with two quick touchdowns. Here's one of them. Say it with me, Andrew. <laughs> Mateo Sakamago. Mount 
Spokane He's rolls. Back. 47 to 20. And don't go anywhere. We have much more football highlights coming up right after this. Plus, we mic up the Mead head coach for this season's first coach up all that. And play of the week is coming right at you after the break. Welcome back to Crim 2 Football Friday. We still have plenty of highlights to get to, but first we want to start with our annual Coached Up yeah. segment. Yeah, for our first Coached Up, we mic'd up Mead head coach Keith Stamps as his team takes on East Mott Wildcats. Take a look. There you go, big plays all night. Two minutes, two! Two minutes! Good! They defer to us, we take the ball. Okay, if they just win the toss and want the ball, we're kicking towards the clock. All right, you guys ready to go? Hey, good luck tonight. Proud of you guys. Go past the numbers! Go past the numbers and come back! Go past the numbers! Hey, 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 go to right wing, go to right wing, go, go, go. How was that angle? Were you allowed to get it on the edge? No, no, I'm not a pump block. Yeah, you're good until he grabbed me. Okay, yeah. you're fine. Oh, we'll yeah. oh, yeah. oh, shot. Yeah, he, he hit me. Shoot, okay, but, uh, he's okay. Make the play. Well, hey, maybe you get it next time. You're fine. Keep going. Keep going. Everybody settle down. Hey, hey, okay. Everybody settle down. All that matters right now, good snap, great protection, okay, and cover this thing up. There's no one set in the entire offense when he goes in motion. That wing's moving forward. No, I'm telling you, he is. I'd like you to look for it. I'm telling you, he is. He's falling forward. There's no way. That is a penalty. Thank you. Hey, you guys doing great? We just can't get stopped right here, right? Yes! Yes! Go, 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 go. Yes! 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 <laughs> There's your stop. There's your jump. <laughs> Love it. Special thanks to Coach Stamps for letting us mic him up. His Panthers did wind up falling tonight, 28-13, though. Hey, let's head out to the land of lakes. Lakeland hosting Pullman. Hawks on the board first. It's the double pass, Andrew. Oh. Rowan Riley. Is that Hayden Hatton? Hatton? It looks like Hayden Hatton. <laughs> he has wide open spaces there, takes it in for the touchdown. Hurley lead for Lakeland there. Pullman answering right back, though. Caleb Northcroft, the champ, Pawaki. And that's what you call Ooh, getting moss. What a catch. Right there. Tie ball game. Lakeland would pull away before half, though. Lovey Whites, the rushing tutty. Hawks go on to win 42 to 21. Shadow Park hosting Timberlake before the opening of one Spokane Stadium later this month. This game was all Highlanders early. Caden Hooper calls his own number. He rushes it in to make it 14 nothing. Shadle. Later in the first half, Hooper is going to find Jacob Boston who gets in for the touchdown. That makes it 21 nothing. Then at the end of the half, it's Hooper to Jacob Hernandez Ooh, this time yeah. for the touchdown. <laughs> Timberlake fights hard in the second half, but they still fall short. 38-32. Freeman hosting West Valley on that brand new turf. Freeman up 20-6 in the third quarter until Ethan Turley punches this one in on the goal line. That makes it a 2013 game. West Valley with a chance to tie things up but backup quarterback Eric Borg has his pass tipped in the air by Colton Wells and intercepted by Vance Coiner. That would set up a third and long, and Freeman goes with a draw play, and it's Kanoa <laughs> Rogan up the middle for the touchdown. That makes it 27-13. West Valley would cut it to one score once again on this touchdown run by Austin Clark right here, and now the Eagles would have a chance to tie the game. One second to play, but Turley's pass is batted oh! down, and guess who? It's Colton Wells again. <laughs> the Scotties hang on for a 27 720 victory. Oh, what a game. Out at Riverside, a lot of drama around this game. Players were originally deemed ineligible due to missing practice, but that was due to the fires. However, the players wound up getting to play. Jake Gaffney here finds the end zone to take a 28 zip lead. And later, it's the defense making things happen. Play of the week candidate, possibly. Oh, Tristan pick. Davis. Oh, he's gone. The pick. Wait for <laughs> it. Uh, six. Yeah. That made it 35 zip. Riverside, the players get to play, and let me tell you, 
They sure had a mission tonight. 35 to 8, they wind up winning. Big congrats to the Rams. Deer Park taking on East Valley at Union Stadium to open their season. Stags up 14-0. They add on. Aiden Martin with the QB sneak makes it 21-0. After an East Valley touchdown, Deer Park would put this game away. Martin to Gavin Carnahan. He slips a tackle and good night. East Valley Stags go on to win this one convincingly, 35-7. The Kendrick Tigers got to play on Boise State's Woo, Blue the Turf Smurf this Turf. afternoon. Yeah, <laughs> the battle in Boise against three-time 1A D1 State champ Oakley Tigers trailed early on fourth and ten here, letting it fly. Ty Kep finds Michael Taylor, takes care of the rest. Tigers would pull away in this one late. Kep on a read option. Kid can play, Andrew. Kendrick goes on to win 44 to 22 at Albertson Stadium. And finally, oh, and finally for you, <laughs> it's one of our favorite parts of the show. Andrew's so excited. I'm so to excited. Say it. Play it's, of the week. That's right. This is a good one for you tonight. <laughs> Gonzaga Prep Bullpup wide receiver Isaiah Dawkins doing his best oh! Odell Beckham Jr. impersonation. <laughs> The one-handed catch in between two defenders. Just an incredible snag. Here it is in slow motion. Oh, oh. that is Look your play of the week, ladies and gentlemen. Big congrats <laughs> to Mr. Hawk and Wow. And guess what that means? What does that mean, Travis? He gets a t-shirt. Yes. We don't have them quite yet. You know, we just got them made. But, That's uh, right. We're bringing you a t-shirt, my man. We'll have one for <laughs> you this week. <laughs> yeah, that'll do it for our first Crim 2 Football Friday. Join us next week. That's all we got. We'll see ya.